Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So you have to decide here uh, which items require to be specific by year. For example, do you want your students to be specific? Do students need to re-sign up again every year? And that's one thing you have to keep in mind. So if that's the case, then even when reading students, you have to include the year in mind. However, this may make things a little bit complicated because uh, it means if you want to sign up the same user again for the following year, uh, during that sign up check, uh, because we check to make sure that the email is not duplicated, so the student will still have the same email, of course. So you have to be able to distinguish between dates to make sure that you're only checking to see if there's no repeat of the same date. And during the login process as well, you have to take into account the year and then you, that way you select which one of the records because one student, if let's say a student uh, has been at your school for five years, it means every year they had to register again. So the user, um, there will be five names of that same user with the same email address, same password, most likely. What would differentiate them is the year. Okay, so that's one route you can go to. But for our system here, the only thing we need to look at are the classes. Uh, the rest can stay as it is. So here, I want to be able to read these classes, but only for the year that I want. So if I refresh, these are the classes I get and only for my specific year. So there's none. Uh, if I go to 2021, then I get that. Then there's 2018, right? So 2018, 2021. So here, let me go to 2018, go. I only want 2018 classes. So that's what I should do when I go to classes. So now the thing is you have to go through all instances where classes are required to be read and then respect that year thingy. So here, what we'll do is let's go to classes here, uh, classes controller, that one right here. And let's see how it's reading from the classes. So this one is just saying select all from classes, blah, blah, blah. And then this is for the search version. But here, what are we getting here? So select all from class students, uh, where user ID is equal to user ID and disabled is equal to zero. Okay. So, and then the search version and then uh, array merge classes I own, get class IDs. And uh, what are we doing here? We're doing it for each loop, all classes, class ID. Okay, so this is the classic way of doing things. Now we need to convert this into a single um, a single query. But before we do that, we are in the admin uh, profile, so we can easily change this one. So here where it says select all from classes where school ID is equal to school ID, and this school ID comes from the current user whatever the school ID is from that school, we're just getting classes from that school, but we need to add the year as well. So here it says where school is equal to that and we'll put an and a double and percent there and just say year. Now, if you notice in the table uh, for classes here, that the date, there's only a date column and it's not a single year here, of course. It's a whole timestamp with seconds and all that. So how can we tell it to only get the one that has 2018 in it? So we can use either the like, like this, and just say uh, 2018, like so. So this would work where date, like, like so. And since we know that 2018 always is at the beginning, we can remove this wildcard at the beginning to speed up uh, the search process and then tell it that we just want one that has 2018 and anything after that. So this would work just fine. But uh, the best way to do it is to do date 
is equal to, and then you say, um, you give it your maybe 2018 here, but then here you say year in brackets, the column that has the date. So the year of this date should be equal to 2018. But we don't want to hard code this 2018, of course. So what we will do is get it from the session. So say uh, school year is equal to, and uh, oh yeah, uh, let's add it to this instead. So we're going to add it here, school year. Let me remove that. And here we're going to read from the session. So I'm just going to say session. Um, actually, what we will do is let's go back here and use this if statement over here. So I'm just going to copy this back to classes and let's put it right there. So if it's not empty, uh, let's use that. If it is, let's use the current here, shall we? And this should sort the problem out. Now, in the similar manner, we're just going to copy this. Oh, here I have to change it to school year. So I'll do school year like that. And in the same way, I'm going to copy this and add it to this. So where school ID is equal to that and class like that and oops, I've added two ands and date is equal to school year. So that should work. We're adding find school ID school year. Very cool. Okay, so let me come back here and let's see this in action. If I refresh now, you see that I only see the dates, this, the classes for 2018. If I choose 2021 and go, I only see the ones for 2021. So this is how you can limit um, what you want to see. Uh, all the files will be there. Uh, I mean, all the classes will be there in the database, but you only see a specific one that you created, only the ones that you created a particular year. So you can always go back in time. Let's say we want to go back to 2018. What classes were in that year? And then you will see that list here which is uh, much, much better. So in a similar manner, we're going to deal with tests as well. We can add a year, and this is all 2021 tests. So classes, tests, yes. And so let's go. So everything must be changed. So from the to mark, from the marked here, everything must change to only reflect the current year that way we are more organized because there's limited amount to see because you can imagine if this school has been in existence for 20 years then it's going to be uh, bloated with tests here and classes here so it would be better to just see what we need in that particular year and go back by year if we need to so let's do the same thing for tests here now we will change this so that we can do this also because we've only changed how the admin view looks like we need to change how the student and lecturer one looks like as well but for now let's go to tests and in there we have a similar thing here so i'm just going to put the school id here and there and uh, paste so this will change will add the date is go to school year and we can just add school year here and then copy exactly what i did where is that these are classes school year is right here so i just copy this whole thing and uh, paste it here so let's change this to 2020 Okay, so you see no tests were found, 2021, there we go. It's that simple. So you can go to this one and this one and do the same thing. Now, before we go to all of those, uh, let me deal with the classes. This is 2018, go, I can see that one. Let me see 2021, go, uh, this is the one. So 
I want to change the other query at the same time. Uh, this is in classes. On the else statement, we are using multiple queries here to do the same thing that we can use a single query. So let's stretch that, change that so that we can add the and school year to that single query. 